Hi, my name is Jessica Estrada and I serve as the events manager at the UCR Career Center. We are so excited that you are gonna be a part of the Engineering and Technology Leadership Career Fair Expo on the 13th of January. I wanted to take a moment to introduce you to Whova and all of the awesome features to help you connect with our students. Features like setting up a one-on-one -on -one session and how to find your session in the Whova app. Let's take a tour. So this here is the homepage of our event. Um, this is what students and you all will see when you come into our event and you land on the home page. Now I'm going to go ahead and have Abby uh, talk about our agenda, which I did include here in the body of the home page. Okay, everybody. Uh, so if you are an employer sponsor for this event, um, then um, you will be joining the event from 11 to 4 p.m. Um, but if you are not a sponsor, um, then the 11 to 1 p.m. portion is optional for you to attend, but um, we'll gladly have you attend if you want to. Um, so we will begin at 11 uh, and we will have our uh, Bones College of Engineering, Dean Lynch, um, kind of uh, kick us off um, and then we will have a kickoff speaker. Um, none of our speakers are like really long speeches so we kept our uh, keynote for 15 minutes um, so that you know to keep students engaged and to keep it moving. Um, so we're very excited to have invited Crystal Cooper from Unity 3D um, to kind of speak and kick us off on the day off. And then we have uh, three speakers for our lightning talk sessions um, that will be kind of just um, talking about some engineering um, career development topics really quick and we'll be taking a couple of questions. And then the rest of the questions that come in will be addressed, um, coming through the chat will be addressed in our employer panel, but let I think I skipped one. So lunch and learn will be at noon, which would again be a sponsor thing where every uh, sponsor will get to host their own breakout rooms. Again, um, as we mentioned before, our 11 to one portion is kind of based on professional development for STEM students. So our lunch and learn is gonna be, you know, just informal chats or it could be a presentation if you want to include a presentation within your breakout room. Um, but it could be, you know, some branding for your organization along with, you know, something for our STEM students to learn from you. So the topic is entirely up to you. You know, it could be as simple as, um, you know, how do you kind of na navigate this fair or uh, how do you excel in networking? And it can be, you know, a STEM topic if you want it to be um, really specific as well. So it's kind of up to you in how you want to structure that. And then, uh, but it, ha it has to be within those 30 minutes. So plan accordingly. And then from 1230 to one, what we're doing is we're having one representative each um, from our sponsors. Uh, so six people on the panel um, who will be joining us to kind of answer all the Q&A that come in through the chat that student students kind of put their questions in. Because um, with events like these, with kind of tight agendas, it's hard to address all the questions that come in the chat. And there are a lot within engineering, um, with our engineering population being so proactive. So um, we will try to address the remaining questions on this panel. Um, and then from 1 to 2 p.m., we will have a meet and greet with our student org leaders. We have our engineering diversity organization leaders joining us as well as quite a few department specific organization leader uh, leaders joining us as well. So I think there will be at least 10 student leaders on the panel um, and how this will be structured is they will be um, giving us like a, about a minute pitch on, you know, what their organization does and, you know, how you can potentially connect with them. And then um, after that, um, it'll, we'll open it up for Q&A. So it's like a reverse panel where employers can ask questions to our student leaders on, you know, best ways to engage with them. And then um, from two to 4 p.m. will be your career fair and networking uh, portion where, you know, all employers will get to host their own rooms. And we did send you some information on 
different ways on how to structure your rooms and Jessica will kind of uh, talk a little bit about, you know, how that could look like. But uh, this is mostly, you know, you, you, you all hosting your own rooms. Um, you know, we're kind of trying to give you different options, but um, you'll mostly have the autonomy of how you want to structure this portion. Um, and we will not be moderating um, because we have quite a few uh, employers. Um, so we're hoping that you can all uh, kind of have some good interaction with students within groups, one-on-one -on -one, or open networking, whatever you prefer. And with that, I can pass it back to Jessica. Awesome, thank you so much, Abby. All right, so when you or students enter into Whova, this is our homepage. So I do wanna point out a couple of things on this page. On the right-hand side, you'll see that our sponsors are also listed in alphabetical order, I believe. And students can click on the name, which is hyperlinked, and it'll take them on over to those organizations' websites. Uh, our sponsors are also on the top. It's a scrolling banner and this will remain on every single page. And, and then um, the most important part of our events is the main navigation menu bar. There's these six options. Uh, right now, currently we're in the home page and um, the agenda here, once we click on that, the agenda actually has all of our sessions for the event. But the day of the event, when you come in, you can just click on agenda. And if you, like Abby said, if you're not one of our event sponsors and you want to join us for starting at 11 to 2 uh, for our professional development events um, and getting to know our student orgs, you can click on our Engineering and Technology Leadership Expo by clicking the title or view session. So um, for our sponsors that will be presenting this day, this is where you will you will come into. So you click view session and this is where this session will be housed. And it looks just like the one that you are in right now for our test demo. Now, what I would like to mention is that this is how the entire event is laid out. Your career fair room is gonna look just like what you're in right now. So all of the rooms are the same. A Zoom link is embedded. Engagement tools are to the right hand side and I'll cover those in just a little bit. So now, right now we're in the Engineering and Technology Leadership Expo, which will start at 11 uh, on next Wednesday. And right here is the Zoom video that students will connect to. When they scroll down, they are able to see the speakers that are gonna be presenting. So right now for here, I have Abby, but I'll be adding in all of the speakers. Um, she mentioned that we have all of your career fair rooms are the same way, you are tied to your room. So now I want to cover some of the engagement tools that students have and you have to um, network and engage with each other. So right here on the top, it says Q and A. This right here allows students to click ask a question. And once they do that, they can enter in their question and um, a question will be made public. And what's nice about this is that students can upvote questions. There's a like button right next to it. And so um, if other students that are a part of um, the conference have that same question but didn't ask it, they can just simply like that question and then move that question to the top. Another great feature that we have is polls. So you can, and this is, this is going to be a made available in your career fair room, but um, in here, you're able to add polls. So once you click on add polls, you can design your poll that suits your needs best. So you could be a multiple choice poll, checkbox, short answer. Um, you'd be able to ask your question. And then you can add in some options. And when you're done, you would add poll and then the poll would show up here. And then you can just uh, guide the students and say, go ahead and click on polls. We released a poll and go ahead and take some time to answer that poll. So it's a really neat feature. And one of the most popular features within this within the conferences that use Whova is the chat feature. So that's what we're using now. Um, so the chat feature allows students to ask questions, to, um, to 
to, to network, you're able to chat in here. This is just a nice constant live feed of, of content that's coming through and, you know, that, that is actually um, being used a lot throughout the conference. So um, it's really nice that we have all these engagement features in one place right next to the Zoom live feed. And then what's really nice is this community tab here, which provides a way for students as well as employers to network together. And that, that is actually on the navigation tab here to the left-hand side. And I will go over that in just a little bit, but this here is a nice shortcut for that. In regards to the session here and this page, um, I do wanna pause and just ask if anyone has any questions. And if you do, you can type it into the chat box in Whova, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have about any of these engagement features or the Zoom video. Any questions? Just, just a real quick question, Jesse. I assume that for our information to load into, if you scroll down um, into the speaker window, right, that's where you fill out your profile, right, within Whova. So you add your own profile photo, title, or who you are, that, 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 that sort of information so that students can see who they're talking to, correct? Yeah, that's correct. So right. um, when I added you all in, you should have... Uh, received an email to fill out your profile bio. Um, those are all connected to your career fair page, and which actually is a great segue into the career fair. So let me show you how the career fair looks like. So under agenda, I just showed you the 11 o'clock engineering and technology leadership expo. But if you notice here at two o'clock, that's the time that our career fair starts. Each organization that has registered for this fair has their own page. So your page has you connected to it. Now for an example, and um, Amazon is one of our um, recruiters that are attending. And since they're our sponsor and they start with A, they're the first ones here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use them as an example. So when um, Amazon is ready to uh, host their career fair, um, they're gonna enter into their page and it looks just like this. I'm gonna scroll down and we see here that Lydia is connected already to the page. And Darren, just like you mentioned, this is a perfect way for students to click on the profiles and also send messages to you all as they begin to network and connect with you the day of the event. One thing that we did um, include here, and I'd like to mention is your career for pages has your logo, it has your website, the type of industry that you are, uh, the job titles that you're looking to hire, the uh, majors that you typically recruit for, as well as the class year, and then a little bit about your organization. So all of this information was extracted from the information that you shared when you created or when you filled out your registration for this fair. So if you have any changes that needs to be made, please let me know and I'll be happy to make those. And then I know we do, we've sent out a survey for you to let us know if you have any other recruiters that are going to be involved within the career fair for your organization. And go ahead and fill out that. And I believe we have a link and we'll, we'll, we'll send the link in uh, the survey link in the chat box. That way you can fill it out and if you have any additional recruiters that are going to be in attendance and we can include them. So this is basically how the career fair is going to look like for you. So you'd be able to design it the way that you would want to. If you want to do it like an information session, you'd be able to do that. If you want to be live on the video as I was earlier and speak to everyone that's en that has entered into your room, you will be able to do that. And I do want to let you all know, and this is great news, is that we are going to be providing Zoom links for all of your session, all of your career fairs. So you won't have to worry about a thing it'll be easy to connect so once you're ready for your career fair and you can connect even a little bit before two o'clock you'll just have to enter into here you'll be live you can unmute yourself you can show your video and then as students come in you'll be able to connect with them and they can chat with you you can create polls and um, one thing that we did that we are going to offer to if you would like at the very bottom we created a sub session so we'll have an additional room for you and you can use it any way that you would like. 
So this will be made available to you if you are interested. So please let us know. And once, um, so say you wanted to do a specialized group session, you can just point um, some of the students that are in your room and just say, go ahead and uh, scroll down to the sub session there and connect to that room. And we will, you know, meet to talk about, you know, X, Y, and Z. So if I go all the way down, it's not, so this is how the video, I mean, this is how the page looks like. It just doesn't show the videos connected, but anyhow, this is how it would look like. So if you have, you have the option to have that additional room, if that'll help you out for your time hosting your uh, career fair during our event. Yeah, so let me go ahead and pause it right there. And if anyone has any questions, please let me know. This would be a great time to ask in regards to the flow of how the career fair is going to be and how um, the sessions work. Jessica, I have a question in the Zoom chat. Okay. Um, will all company attendees show up on this homepage? Yeah. So, um, so this is definitely the homepage that everyone will see right when they log into our event and all you have to do is go to agenda click agenda and then scroll down to the 2 p.m mark um, and just look for your organization and then connect and so the only one right now for for this training that i connected a video to was amazon so that's that way you're able to see how it looks like when a video is connected and you go to your page and this is what you're going to see so you're going to be able to connect to your page um, from the home page, clicking onto agenda, and then to your organization. And then this is where you're going to be housed for your career fair session. Yeah, any other questions? I've had a couple recruiters ask me this, like they're making, uh, like if, if like six of them are joining on the day off, um, and uh, to, to, to have them under the company description, they would all have to be in handshake, right? That's how we're updating that or um, whoever fills out the form, um, we can keep updating Whova with that information or how, how are you kind of managing that? Yeah, so the information that has been updated in our system, mm -hmm. so let's go to Coop because I saw that they had a lot of recruiters. So um, all of this information was given and shared, was, was, inputted by the registrant who registered for this organization for this particular fair. So what I do is just grab that information and then put it on each company's page so that when students come in, they'll be able to see the logo, um, the website, the type of industry, the type of jobs that are being offered, um, who are they recruiting <coughs> for, a little bit about the organization. Um, so all of this actually came from the person who registered for the event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so right now, yeah, so you, you referenced Handshake then, right? Yes. So when they registered, they if they added representative names, they're on here. Uh, but we can still add more, right? Yeah, we can We can definitely add more representatives and we can modify the information that is on each company's page. So I would, um, so after this, if you want, or if you're able to kind of toggle through right now, since the video will follow you, um, you can go into the agenda, scroll down to your company's page and just see if all of your representatives are connected and if all of the information is correct that's listed under your company's page. But yes, everything was extracted from um, Handshake's registration page. Another question, sorry, no, another ahead, question ahead. that came up um, in one of my meetings with the recruiter today. Um, so if uh, there are, um, you know, the best way to reach out um, with uh, the representative names and details will be filling out the form that we sent you. Um, the other way is, um, you know, again, if you if you feel like it's easier to kind of reach out to us or update handshake, let us know. And also, uh, there are uh, specific employers that have asked that their representatives contact info be displayed. Now, when, it, when they're creating a profile, if they're just filling out their basic details um, and not their emails, then um, that is not displayed here. But if you want to have their emails added, then um, 
we have to have those emails handshake. some way so either through handshake or send them to me and we can kind of make those updates on the back end and add emails and whatever contact information you want students to see through hoover yes yeah thank you so much for that abby um yeah so you know i i did send out the link for you all to fill out your profiles so make sure that all the information is included as much as possible so that our students are able to connect with you and you know there is that message feature in here and i'll cover that in just a little bit but when they're in your career fair page they're going to see your name um they're going to see your title what company you work for uh, and they'll be able to choose and select your profile to view that as well as send you a message. So this is really going to connect them directly to you. Um, so that's Jessica? one of, you know, a really nice feature that Whova has. Yeah, yes, Michelle? Um, so I wanted to mention a, a question in the chat and it's come up a couple times okay. um, from Heidi and Kamika. Um, they're wanting to know if um, two or more reps can be in the same video presentation and kind of how does that work? Yeah, so the way that this works is, um, so within Whova, um, the, the person who is speaking is going to be shown. So if you're familiar with Zoom, uh, then the, I think it's the speaker view, that's basically how it works within, uh, within Whova. So um, one thing is that when you're in Whova, you can't see everyone all at once the way uh, that you uh, the way that you're able to in gallery view, but you can see who's speaking um, in presenter view. So if you are partnering with another recruiter for a presentation, then um, whoever's speaking is going to be shown. Everyone will be able to see them. But if you are partnering with the recruiter or with your partner and you're presenting and you're showing a presentation, the viewers are gonna see the presentation, but they can hear both of your voices. So basically all of the functions on, um, most of the functions on Zoom is what you're gonna be working with in regards to the video function, uh, the live feed function within Whova. All right, any other questions, Michelle and Abby that you see coming through? And if not, then I will continue with the main navigation. And the next one is, I'll, I, will I have be... a question, Jessica. Oh, sure. Sorry, go, ahead. go ahead. This is, this is Lydia. So what, I, what I'm trying to understand is if you do have multiple reps during the career fair, um, is there an opportunity for them to do one-on-one -on -one chats so that students can directly talk with them about their experience, yeah. um, ask questions, like can, can, can that be the format? Can we set it up that way? So that way, maybe we do a quick 30 minute, like let's chat all together as a group, but let's break off and do one on one chats. Mm. Um, that's a great question. And it is a great segue into the next thing that I'm going to talk about, which is our attendee tab. And that is how you're going to be able to connect with students and host those one on one students. Uh, one on one meetings with students. So um, let me show you how that looks like. And then hopefully this will answer your questions. And um, yeah, so let me dive right into that. So right here, we'll see attendees. This window here and menu is going to allow you to look for the attendees that are part of this event. And so all of our students are that register for the event are added into here. And what we've done to make it easier in case you want to search for them by their major is add, we did add in their major. So, um, so just like you saw in the career fair um, window where you saw the speaker profile and you're able to view their profile and send them a message. It's the exact same thing here in this window. So um, let me just do a quick search for bioengineering. So I'm going to type in bioengineering and then before I can even stop, it's going to show me all of the students um, who their major is bioengineering and you're able to go through and see all of the students and the one that I want to point out here because they completed their profile is um, Tat Yap. So um, you're able to click on view pro profile on anyone that you search for. Um, so um, 
Tat go, uh, went in and completed their resume, their uh, profile and included their resume. So here you're able to see is their resume and then you can click download and download their resume. Um, but if say you wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with Tat and you wanted to connect with them, then you would send them a message. And so basically we are gonna be using the messaging feature to host those one-on-one -on -one conversations. Um, the way that this works is you would click on the video call uh, feature up here, this icon, and there's also a video icon on the bottom. But first you're gonna wanna interact with them. Um, of course, uh, let them know that you wanna connect, what is the best time to connect? And then once they're ready to connect with you, that's when you can use the video call feature. So let me show you, let me go down to here. So, um, and you know what, Lydia, since you asked, um, let me send, let me actually practice this on you so everyone can see. So say I wanted to connect with Lydia. I can type in her name here and then send her a message. And then um, of course there'd be a better greeting, but I'm just gonna for right now, just put hello and send that on over. So um, then when I'm ready to have a video call with her and once we establish a time in which we wanna meet, um, I would click that video call button. Now, one thing to note that's really important is that a request for permission um, needs to take place first. So I'm just gonna request that I can have permission to uh, meet with and have that video call with Lydia. So then the request would go through. So that was successful. And then once she approves it, then we're able to use that video call feature. So let me show you my page. Um, so, so these green bars will pop pop up um, once you know the student has accepted and it says you now uh, you can now video call each other and so once that permission and request has gone through then you can press that video call feature and this is how it looks like when you're calling a student and since I'm here with you all using my zoom already I won't be able to to um, to show you how it looks like um, but let me show you on the document that I sent you bear with me when you connect with a student on the one-on-one -on -one call, this is how it'll look like. So if you're familiar with FaceTime, then um, basically it's the same thing. You both will be connected. Um, you'll be able to share your video. You'll be able to share your audio. And then of course the red button is to disconnect from that call. But um, this is my student worker's point of view, which means that from her device, she was looking at me so, um, so you will be full screen when a student is uh, connecting with you and it'll be the other way around. Students will be a full screen when they're connecting uh, with you. So that's how the one-on-ones are going to take place. Now, I will mention that we are encouraging our students to connect with you as well. So sending you a message, everything is within Whova, and you don't have to wait and they don't have to wait until the day of the event, they are able to connect with you now before the fair and they're able to connect with you after the fair. So that's one of the really nice features of Whova is that it, it kind of goes beyond, it allows the connections to go on beyond the event and also take place before the event. But that is how the one-on-ones are going to be designed for this fair. Does anyone have any questions? That was helpful. Thank you for okay. walking me through that. So then, so then, if you, if we are interested in doing during the two to four hour block one on ones, do we have to put that in the schedule where a student can like can can, can they pre select to join a one on one chat with us in advance before we go live on uh, next week? Yeah, and be they, added into a queue so that way, like um, we we oh they already like reserved a time to speak with us um, during the block. And this is the time where we go and chat with them. Right, and that's a great question, but it, it's not like that. Everything will be housed in the messaging, um, in your messaging bo inbox. And so it would be a matter of connecting with them and finding out a time when is good for you both to connect. 
Um, so say if you wanted to, and I'm just going to throw this as an example, when you're connecting with students within your career fair room um, and you're having that, say you're chatting back and forth, then you can say, well, let's go ahead and have a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to message you right now, or they would um, reach out to you. So you can have that interaction in your main career fair room and then um, transfer over to your messaging inbox and all of your recruiters can kind of begin to decide how you want to host your career fair room and you know who would be manning the room and who would be um, is setting up the one-on-ones in the messaging inbox uh, with students. And um, I would like to add, Lydia, so for example, like we have um, 16 employers right now and if say we get like 150 students uh, the first place they'll all uh, disperse when we get to the career fair portion will be, you know, they'll be joining the employer room um, of the employers that they're interested in. So that's kind of where we are asking you to kind of um, think about how do you want to optim optimize those two hours that you get with students. You know, if you want to start, say, if you bring six representatives um, you can start funneling them to one-on-ones right away um, with, you know, representatives taking turns and um, connecting with students. Um, if, if you want to like keep it within that time frame, but Whova allows you to um, kind of continue the conversations and still be able to message candidates, even if you're outside of that career fair window. Um, so the two hours are primarily to kind of help you um, structure um, how you want to meet with those candidates like, you know because some employers are not actively hiring so you know they would probably want to network more and you know um, probably brand their organization a little more which is why we have kept it open um, you know where you can have group sessions or one-on-ones whatever you prefer right okay thanks Abby that that was helpful Okay. Um, does anyone else have any questions in regards to one-on-ones? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next um, tab here, which is community. This is a great way for our students and you all to uh, network together. And it's just another great um, engagement tool that Whova has. So if you want to ask the organizer anything, this is a great place to do that. Um, I'll be monitoring this the day of the event. And then this is a, another place where students can ask you know, us anything. Um, we have um, uh, announcements that um, we will be sharing in case there's any announcements. So this would all be um, available to you all in case there's anything that we need to share. But one of the exciting things that I want to highlight is our discussion board. So I created two here, electrical engineering and then um, a career with Amazon. So you all can be creative with the different types of discussion boards that you might want to create. Um, so there's this blue button up here that says add a topic. And if you're interested, you can create any topics. It could be one about your organization or if there are tips and tricks that you want to share with students. Students will begin to um, get uh, more interaction on the Whova platform. Um, and especially once they see discussion boards, these will allow them to engage more, especially with your organization too. And then, you know, students also have the opportunity to create their own. They might have questions about particular um, topics within the field and they're gonna be creating um, discussion boards too. So I would uh, highly recommend that you would take the opportunity to create a discussion board and make this really Really fun and engaging with our students. All right, the next one is our sponsor tab. So uh, what's really nice is that all of our sponsors are listed on to, oops, are listed here on the sponsor tab. So, um, so you're able to see how many students or how many have viewed your page. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, we did add in the contact information of the recruiter, the website, the name of the recruiter, and then on the right hand side is the chat box. So students can come in here at any time, chat. I would like to say, you know, they can say, um, I would like to connect with you. How can I connect with you? Or they can ask any questions. But, you know, we really want to thank our sponsors. And this is just a, a nice added touch to the event and where 
our students can really connect with the sponsors who, for our event particularly. So, you know, all of you are listed in here, City of Hope, Keck, um, Salas O'Brien, South, Co South Coast Air Quality, Coupa, and um, so, yeah, we will be connecting all of our Alliance partners and all of you that are our event sponsors. So thank you so much. And then the last um, item on our navigation bar is our messaging. So um, just know that students will begin to message you and connect with you, express their interests. You're able to send out messages. And this is basically where it's going to be housed. So if you do get a message, it's kind of like social media. Um, you'll see, oh, this is perfect. Um, you'll see there is a red dot that will pop up and then one, which means that um, someone has sent you a message. So here I'm able to see that Lydia went in and she allowed me to connect with her on video. So um, when you come into Whova and all messaging is on Whova, just be on the lookout for that red dot with the number in the middle, which means you have that many missed messages or unread messages. And those are basically the six different um, navigation tabs that we have for our event. Again, we have the home page, that's where everyone will land. The agenda, that is where all of our sessions are going to be housed. Um, the attendees, that's how you can set up uh, your one on ones and look for particular students. The community board is our engagement, uh, engagement feature. And then the sponsor tab highlights all of our sponsors. Okay, so if um, if uh, anyone has any questions, we can take some time to answer questions. And then if not, um, we'll have some time to practice. We do have another question in the chat um, from Heidi, uh, wanting to know how does a recruiter create a Whova profile? Um, do they do that through emailing you or is there a way to do it on Whova and then um, be able to note that they're representative of a certain company? Yes. Yeah, so Excuse me. So all of the representatives um, were either entered into the registration or if you do have additional representatives, I believe we have that survey that you can fill out um, to share the information. Then if not, um, you can go ahead and email Abby or myself and we can get you added into Whova. But the way representatives are added into Whova is we have to add them in first and create that profile for them. And once we do that, we do email them right away for them to, to fill out their profile. But those are the different ways that you can, you know, let us know that you have an additional representative that needs to be added. And then also um, with the, or so with the organization that they are with, we will connect them to the career fair page so that students will um, be able to see their profiles and that they'll just be connected to the um, company's career fair page. Yeah, so hopefully that answers a question. And then also, you know, make sure, and I know I mentioned this earlier, but take a look at your page, make sure that all your representatives are connected and all your information is correct. And if you have any changes that needs to be made, please let me know, go ahead and email me and I'll be happy to make those changes for you. All right, any other questions? I see one more for um, Heidi as well. Will there be a separate video for the breakout room? For the career fair breakout room, that's a separate Zoom link. So it'll so that definitely will be separate. So when students go in there, it will be a com it will be a completely new uh, Zoom event per se, and and you'll be able to use that extra room for anything that might you know help with your recruiting needs and so please let us know if you are interested in having that additional room and we can definitely make that available to you so hopefully that helps and then they're just interested in seeing how to share their screen <laughs> Yeah. Oh, sure. Actually, that's a great segue into what I am about to share now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to share your screen. And and then after that, we're going to have a, a time for you to actually practice sharing your screen. I, um, with the PDF that I sent everyone, I did include how to share your presentation. So I'll just show you these screenshots, which are basically the same. And you all should be able to see this because before you... Um, uh, before I started, I, I and Abby made you all panelists. So you should be able to see this little icon where it says um, share screen. So when you're ready to share your screen, you're going to click share screen. And then what's going to pop up is this menu uh, option. So right here, it says application window. 
and then Chrome tab. Application window, you would click on that. If you have your PowerPoint presentation open on your desktop, but if you have your PowerPoint presentation open on a browser tab, and we recommend using Chrome, then you would choose this one. You'd highlight it and then you would click share. Once you do that, this is an example of how that looks like. So what's really important to note is that your presentation is gonna fill up your screen, which means you're not gonna be able to see Whova and you're not gonna be able to see all the interaction that's taking place. But we in Whova are gonna be able to see your presentation just like you're seeing my shared screen right now. And you'll know that you're sharing your screen because this little uh, button on the bottom will pop up and then you'll have that blue button that says stop share. So when you are all done with your presentation, all you have to do is click stop share. And once you do that, that's it. You're back in Whova. So sharing your screen is fairly easy, but we want to make sure that you feel comfortable. So we are going to dedicate some time for you to practice sharing your screen. And... Let me go ahead and stop share here. So we want to thank you so much for being a part of our event and impacting the lives of our students. If you have any questions about Whova, please feel free to reach out to me and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. My email address is here below. Thanks and have a great day.